Whether you enjoy some milk in your coffee or cheese on your pizza, we all know that dairy is a large part of the American diet. But despite these nutritional benefits, there is a lot of misinformation out there that claims that dairy is detrimental to your health. Joining me live from legendary farm in Clovis, New Mexico, is physi physician and host of The Doctors, Travis Stork, and expert in the science of food, Dr. Lana Fronson. Thank you both for joining us. Thank Thanks, you so Elsa. much for having us. So Travis, first things first, tell us how it is going on the farm today. <laughs> It is going wonderfully. Saw the sunrise earlier, as you can see, the cows are having breakfast. And so, it, you know, this has been great for me because I got to come out here to New Mexico, visit the farm. And people ask me all the time as a doc whether or not I include dairy in my diet. And the answer is absolutely yes. So I'm here in partnership today with the family farmers at Dairy Max because for me, it's little things like I do, I use half and half in my coffee instead of sugar. I do eat yogurt every single day and I'll throw in all these beautiful fruits you see here. When it comes to things like pizza, what do I consider it? A vegetable delivery system. But what makes it a great system, especially for kids, is the cheese which makes it taste so great. And everything from salads to vegetables, you know, for me, adding the cheese in there is what makes it wonderful and enjoyable. So this becomes a big part of my diet. Um, and, and a lot of people are afraid to, to add things like cheese but in moderation and in balance, that's what, what a good diet's all about. Why do you think and that? And I can endorse that cheese <laughs> with my two boys. They love it, and it's, uh, once you put it on a pizza, they love it even more. Why do you think that that dairy is all of a sudden getting people confused, that they think that maybe it's not so good for you? There is so much misinformation out there, actually now more so than ever. So one of the questions that I get very often is about lactose intolerance. And there is a difference between allergy and intolerance, but the fact of the matter is, with lactose intolerance, you do not have to avoid dairy. And one of the simplest solutions is the next time you're at the grocery store, look for lactose-free milk, like some of the products that you see here. It's real cow's milk, just without the lactose, so it's easy on your tummy. And one other thing I would just add in there is there are new dairy drinks people don't think about, like kefir. I wrote about that in my last book because every day I recommend people have one probiotic food. And so I'll put kefir on my whole grain cereal because not only do you get the protein, the calcium, vitamin D, but probiotics similar to what you would find in the yogurt. And there's a lot of really good data out there now, now about people who regularly eat things like yogurt and better GI health, less inflammation, better weight, and also may decrease your risk for cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and these are, of course, the major killers in our society. That's what I was going to ask you, some of those benefits, because you, you hear about calcium, but some of the other things you don't think about when it comes to the probiotics also being something that could be helpful. Absolutely, and I think to that point, when, uh, when we talk about our gut health, it's also bone health. Uh, from your cradle to college years, your bones are growing, and you want to make sure from one year of age, really throughout your life, that you're getting dairy, whether it's milk, cheese, or yogurt in your diet. And I want to make sure that um, you visit the Dairy Max Facebook page because Travis is going to be going behind the scenes here at the wonderful Vander Dusen Dairy Farm. And he's actually going to show you some newborn calves um, on his behind the scenes visit. So Noon be sure to check that out. Central Standard Time, Facebook Live. Oh, super cute. We'll definitely check that out. Thank you both so much for your time. We really appreciate it. And we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.